The biggest brain rot you're ever going to experience. Uh, my dear friend, Nokotun. Um, it releases in Japan on like a Wednesday or a Thursday, but it officially doesn't get subtitles till Sunday. People have been watching it um, before today, but they've been using AI machine translated subs, which even the person who uploaded the subs said, wait till Sunday, these are garbage. So I waited till Sunday. And while on one hand you can make the argument, it's such a shitpost of a show that machine translated subs would just add to the comedy, but I would actually counter that argument and say, despite this show being peak brain rot shitposting, it legitimately is interesting on a dialogue level. It's such a parody, it's such a whiplash, but at the same time, I legitimately am not just thinking it's shock value. Every time those damn deer are on screen, I lose it. It's so funny. But it's actually a well put together show. The fact that within the first couple of minutes of an episode starting, you have an off yourself joke. Because the character breaks the fourth wall and says, should we get a later time slot? Because of the offing, because that's what it looks like. You have a character who might be arguably the dumbest character I can recall. She at one point takes her head off and there's nothing in there. There's not even a singular brain cell. She's an idiot. But the idea that every step of the way, you have a Sundere MC who is the viewer. They gave us a character who is the viewer who's saying, why? Why is this happening? Why is this like this? And everyone else around is just peak brain rot, brain dead energy. And it's fantastic. I have full live reactions over on Patreon. If you want to see my full and good thoughts to any of these episodes, it's going to be over there exclusively. Um, the thing is, is I expected it was going to be weird. The poster image, like the, why is there some 3D deer on top of some 2D draw? Like you knew what to expect to a certain degree. But even knowing what to expect to a certain degree still had me saying, okay, I didn't expect that one. Every time we got deeper into this episode, like every two or three minutes, I thought to myself, what a gosh darn moment. This show is a legit shitpost, but a well put together shitpost. So here's the thing. Every step of the way in this episode, I'm asking myself, why? Why is no one questioning? Here's a great example. She barges through the door with antlers, just smashes through it with boss music blasting. Buddy gets his nose broke, other girl gets a concussion, the teacher has shards of glass in her head. Nothing, like, wow, she's a deer, that's cute. But when she calls our other character Miss Delinquent, they're like, delinquent, that's not acceptable. I'm convinced she's a god among men and her antlers are magical, and whatever she says influences the vast majority other than our other MC. Because there's no other way this happens. Because I'm just, I'm baffled. But here's the thing, this show is a whiplash of comedy, but it seemingly is actually well put together. Now, if you actually just look at the deer and the way they've done 3D with these deer, if this was a purely 3D show, and it was like some nature show, like just talking about animals and shit, the deer actually look well done, like they're actually legitimately well put together. The thing is, is it's on top of everything hand drawn and it's the most distracting mess of all time. But unironically, these deer blend in better than some of the 3D dragons I've seen in isekai fantasy anime as of late, and that's, that's funnier the longer I think of it. But it's the fact that there's no explanations. The character in question dealing with this is constantly saying, why is there deer here? Why is there a deer girl? I What in deer's name is going on? And no one other than her questions it. And the fact that this girl thinks that she needs to get... She's like, here, have my horn. You can even eat it. God damn, you want more? You can have the second one. Don't worry, I can put him back. It's like... This show has as much of a potential to build the best romance of the season as it does to commit to the most savage murder of the season. Because, as far as I can tell, these two are going to fall madly in love as much as potentially she's going to kill this deer and have to go on the run for murder. Either one of those options are just as likely leaving this first episode, and that is hilarious to admit out loud, but no one can convince me otherwise that 
it's not. The fact that they start a deer club. And basically, we we adopt a pet. Like, she has to brush her. They end the episode with clearly someone who probably wants to pet the deer, and that's why she's so salty. But, like, the opening song? The chant? It's just... It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> like, this is literally brain rot that's executed well. It's like... This is the difference of just throwing a lot of wacky ideas and hoping something sticks versus someone who says, hey, un unironically, you know what would be funny? What if we just, like, we have an anime that's really well produced, drawn well, but we're going to purposely add in very distracting 3D deer. There's going to be a character who's part deer. They're not going to explain why other than the main character, like, questioning what the hell's going on. And we're just going to have Gintama level of comedy as we probably legitimately build a friendship between the two, if not more. And someone said, sure. That sounds fun. I'm convinced this is a Studio Trigger show, but I know it's not done by Studio Trigger. Like, this is the type of BS they would come up with. It's so good. It's so freaking good. And legitimately one of the best first episodes of this year. Like, including the winter, spring, and now summer season. Easily the funniest and hardest I've laughed watching an anime so far this year. And I'm so ready for more. The fact that they literally started with an offing yourself joke, followed by everything else that follows. In the opening, there's a Dark Souls reference. The you deer instead of you die. Like, the more you examine it, the funnier it becomes. It's so good. And there's a part of me, as much as I love this episode and I'm glad there's more episodes, a part of me wishes we live in an alternate universe where this was a single episode show and it actually ends with her just dead in the shed for some reason. The character walks in saying, what the hell? And it just says, you dear, and credits play. And no one understands why the anime was made. The creators don't talk about it. They just released one episode and they ended it like that. Could you imagine for how many years that episode would be talked about? But granted, we do have a full season of this shit post, and I am so ready for more peak deer brain rot, because it is freaking funny, and surprisingly well produced despite having such distracting deers, but the fact that they did so purposely makes it all the funnier. Let me know what the hell you thought of episode 1 of that, that deer god greatness, and uh, how pumped are you for episode 2? Let me know down below. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Of course, ring that bell. And like I mentioned, we got those full live reactions over on Patreon. And uh, hey, why over there? I'll just give you a video shout out. All right, so today we got Kaku, Laser, Gaitin Plazank, Liam, Chris He, and Danny Chow. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care, and y'all have a good one.